good morning so for starters i love the morning like i love the, the birds chirping i love the sunrise getting up tending to my plants i'm doing my makeup that's what i did today so that's why <laughs> you know what i'm saying i just love the, the morning and the aura of the morning and i feel like it's so important to know where your joy is and what makes you happy and to hold some of that especially for when you wake up and before you engage with the world because listen life is cruel enough so at the very least you should be compassionate and nurturing to yourself okay um with that said i just want to touch on some things like Yo, I ain't gonna even lie, like, I'm traumatized beyond explanation regarding this, um, mass shooting here in Buffalo, and I'm really bothered in so many ways, right, and I'm trying to contain my energy because <laughs> I've been having this spirit of belligerence lately, uh, so, listen y'all, so this, in this video I want to talk about a few things and I want to give a shout out to Yvette Carnell because she's going to inspire some of the things that I say. Uh, she's a controversial character, uh, not to me, um, but to other people because I feel like, for one, other people have certain agendas. and it pays for them to keep certain narratives going but I love her because in my opinion she's a breath of fresh air I love women who are just super fucking logical um, and she's really one of the only um, black women well one of the few black women who are really discussing um, politics and society as it pertains to black people <laughs> Um, in a actionable way, right? And when I say actionable, yeah, I'm, I'm throwing a little shade <laughs> because, you know, I had to go back and revisit just to make sure my eyes and my, my senses weren't fooling me. <laughs> but the truth is stranger than fiction. Um, Black Lives Matter founder, she held an event in collaboration with Adidas called fuck white supremacy and the premise of this event was a worldwide electric slide against racism <laughs> that's it i know you motherfucking lie okay but um just to piggyback y'all let's just normalize too uh giving people they credit because some of us be running off with people thoughts and ideas and um you know inspired by other people and we just be acting like we just such a big genius or <laughs> motherfuckers really some dickheads um case point i seen a trending um thread on twitter and a girl had actually copied this from a tiktok video and didn't even have the decency to give that young lady credit you hoes got to do better you niggas got to do better okay but um yeah shout out to Yvette Carnell because she she's inspiring some of the things that I'm gonna say um the more I um, come across and dig into um, things surrounding this mass shooters manifesto I'm just like you know what we got work to do right and it's not gonna be this year it's not gonna be gonna take a year or two or three or four or five or ten it's going to be lifelong work that we're going to have to pass to the next generation because i think one thing that is really missing from this generation is work right um as much um progress as we've made as much progress as we have not made i feel like a lot of quote unquote victories that this generation of activists have managed to secure for the most part, it's just symbolism. Paintings, fucking murals, <laughs> virtual electric slides 
in collaboration with huge billion dollar brands. Um, just a bunch of bullshit and fuckery, y'all. And a lot of y'all like to shit on the fucking Black Panthers and, 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 and the, the real niggas of old, Martin Luther King and et cetera and so forth. And that doesn't mean that, you know, some of the things that, that they put forth and have done shouldn't be challenged. But <laughs> they was a motherfucking kiki and cackling and reading and doing yoga and dancing uh, for the motherfucking, these motherfuckers. <laughs> like they was doing serious fucking work and we really need to re-engage black radicalism you know um and for those of you and, and destigmatize black rage and, and like i was trying to say it got caught up for those of you um who don't know the black panthers are not the opposite of the kkk okay um we need to go back re-engage that literature re-engage those ideas stop being some punk ass niggas because i see a lot of y'all on this internet crying <laughs> okay crying pleading with people right talking about you need their support and you need love and community no let me tell you white people something if you're watching this if you're watching this niggas don't need nothing but money and resources i'm talking about on a massive level i'm not talking about you know friendships on one-on-one -on -one, you know because you know some of y'all cool like that and i'm talking about on a major scale if you really want to do something and be an ally give a nigga some money okay my cash app is dollar sign f scott 716 okay send me some fucking money when i reopen the emails you know you see and read about what happened with this business and stuff send me some goddamn you know resources some motherfucking money you know that's what we need shit love and support and stuff i get that from the motherfucking ancestors i don't need that from absolutely nobody not white people and not motherfucking niggas okay i get it from the higher power the ancestors and the original okay so let's just make that motherfucking clear <laughs> but um yeah y'all we just got to stop being soft. We have to do work. Um, we have to do politics. Going back to Yvette Carnell, one thing she brought up um, in the guy's manifesto was that, you know, he could have targeted, per his own words, he could have targeted other groups of people and planned to, you know, was thinking about it, such as the LGBT community, but what he was saying, they're higher on a political scale than African Americans, right? So first, we need to do black politics, and I said that as well myself, not be on this side, the right or the left, right? We need to do what works for us and have, and, and not symbolism, but, you know, real tangible political results. Um, and, you know, also, <laughs> Remilitarize ourselves, motherfucking get your target practice up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much that needs to be done, you guys. So much. And uh, furthermore, I really hate how, at every step of the way, motherfuckers playing in our black ass face. Joe Biden, matter of fact, but we let them though. We let them though. Joe Biden came up here. He was did the mumbling and reciting fucking poetry and shit. And if I'm wrong, forgive me, but I didn't hear no niggas ask him no hard questions. The mayor was sucking dick, right? Speaking of the goddamn mayor, I can't stand his ass. You know, like he just give me bad, snaky fucking vibes. And also, I will never forgive him because we had an opportunity to make history here in Buffalo with the first black female mayor, right? And he decided to be the enemy of fucking progress, right? Um, just to stay in office and continue to do absolutely fucking nothing and suck the police dick to try to keep his son, uh, one of the most serial criminals, 
in this fucking vicinity out of goddamn jail. Like, I don't use the word hate often, but I hate his fucking ass. We ain't got shit here, you know. Buffalo can be used as a national case study for the marginalization of black people. And he always talking fucking progress, right? I've, I've lived other places and I've seen progress. Buffalo has made no fucking progress except for fucking white people, right? But moving right along, um, we, we blew the opportunity you know, just coming up here, he came up here, we, we, they was taking pictures and, and praying and <sighs> y'all, we got to motherfucking do better. A lot of times we just want to be in the fucking facet, the, the realm of people and the, in the space of people like that's not enough. This is why <laughs> niggas take 10 step forward and goddamn 30 steps back. Like, we have to do, in the words of Yvette Carnell, give her credit, real fucking politics. All this other punk ass, unnecessary fucking optics bullshit has to be cut out. Like, seriously. Um, and... <laughs> You know, I'm not even going to say that right now because I got to get more of a range to expand upon that topic. But mm, when I tell you that manifesto needs to be required reading, when I tell you he laid out the blueprint and you need to engage stuff like that as well. We, we don't just need to, you know, study, um, you know, our history and activists and things like that we also need to study them study militia groups um military history fucking white supremacists their mindset you know what i'm saying these motherfuckers study us that and if once you reach a certain age that manifesto that needs to be in all schools and motherfucking everybody got need to write a, a report on it it's just it's crazy y'all we got so much work to do but let's just focus on the right work versus the aesthetic work because <laughs> that bullshit is not working y'all is not fucking working is not fucking working <laughs> okay so with that being said y'all take care thank you for watching this video